All right, for the first time since the Russian war in Ukraine in 2022, the year when it began, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky says that his troops have carried out one of its biggest incursions, pushing deep into the Russian territory. And this comes as Russia conducted deadly airstrikes on Ukraine's capital, Kiev. Justifying the offensive, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said the operation was part of Kiev's drive to restore justice after Russia's 2022 invasion. Today, I received several reports from Commander-in-Chief Sirsky regarding the front lines and our actions to push the war onto the aggressor's territory. I am grateful to every unit of Defence Forces ensuring that. Ukraine is proving that it can indeed restore justice and ensure the necessary pressure on the aggressor. Zelensky's admission comes nearly six days after Ukraine army launched an offensive advancing 20 kilometers deep inside the Russian territory of Kursk. The fresh wave of Russian attacks on Ukrainian forces come as the Ukrainian army claims to have controlled at least three settlements in the Kursk region. At least 13 people were injured in the Ukrainian attack on Russia's Kursk region with two in critical condition. Acting Governor of Kursk Region Alexei Smirnov said the incident occurred when a missile intercepted by Russian defense systems fell onto a residential building, triggering a fire. Russia's defense ministry says its forces are repelling the attack and have destroyed 14 Ukrainian drones, four Troshka U tactical ballistic missiles and tanks over the Kursk region overnight. Air raid sirens sounded in Ukraine's capital, Kiev, after Ukraine's air force said Russian missiles were headed towards the city. Explosions rang out in the center and east of Kiev. The overnight attack killed a 35-year-old man and his four-year-old son in the district of Brovary near the Ukrainian capital, while three other people, including a child, were seriously injured. Okay, okay, okay.